Warning, this video will probably confuse you in making a decision of what 60 watt lights to pick from. Probably. But hopefully, you can decide the right one that's good for you. Let's do it. Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time and today we are going to look at all lights, 60 watts, like, yeah, they're a lot, they're a lot, they're a lot, but I, but I have about um, five in the house today and uh, this is going to be a new kind of comparison uh, because all the lights these days are cool okay so we're just going to run through the ease of use you know some special features and uh the fact that the size portability because actually all these lights we're gonna uh, take a look at today they are all i repeat they are all very good lights you could go in any direction and you won't make a miss okay small rig should be one of them but i don't have the small rig um 60 watts i have the 220 and um, i think 220 um watts yeah so that uh, disqualifies small rig from this group but you still can't go wrong with that if you are going for the 60 watt light now it's on i want to start with the very first one and it's the one that i already unboxed i think about two videos ago it's the Jeon g60 and i'm going to show you uh, a replay from the previous video the unboxing of that light and one of the things that i love about this 60 watt from Jeon is the flexibility number one i think it wins portability size right of all the lights is the smallest I think that's the best, most portable size. I, I don't see anything going smaller than that for a 60 watt light. Okay, so I'll give that portability to um, the June. And uh, I love the fact that it, has, it comes with a flex arm that allows you to uh, position it uh, differently or um, as you like. It, it, is, it has its own proprietary uh, mount, but... Uh, you can adapt it you can add, and i think all these lights you can be adapt can be adapted all these lights can be adapted to bowen's mouth so um that's not a unique feature to it but it's good that it's there it will be a minus if it is not there so next on the list will be uh the cobol cobol cl60 okay Okay, just like the Zhiyun, this one comes with a box, a portable box, all about about all about the same size and quality. Um, oh yeah, this is this is nice. Yeah, handy, nice to take around. Now, let's see what's inside. Okay, comes with a manual. Um, a dish. It looks like uh, a dish that looks like a fish. Okay. And one thing I like about the Cobo, it comes with the adapter. The adapter to take it to Bowens. This comes with it right straight in the box. You don't have to buy it separately. And this is the light itself, but let's let's wait for that. The cable. Oh yes, this is another thing I love about it. It comes with a USB power cable, which make which makes this so portable. Now the other lights, most of the other lights can use USB as well, but they, they have you know large bricks. But this one gives you the perfect size, which is ideal. This can, this actually can power any of the lights here with the USB port, okay? And then, um, what is this now? Let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, this is the, this helps for the base. So let's set this up quickly. 
So this is how it looks like. So let's let's test this. You loosen this part, and then it can slide. When you lose this knob, it can slide out. It can go on any part of the light. There are slides, it like railways. So you can slide it in here and lock it up. Okay, depending on where you want to mount it. Now, the good thing is that, the funny thing is that it can also mount another of this one so that they can stack up another cobalt light. You can slide it in here so there can be another small one here, another here. So you could actually make a whole screen. So if the budget is right, like some music videos, you want to create some of those effects and um, you want to create some large source of light. The light is very decent, very, 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 very good. Like I said, all these lights are good. I think, I think uh, this will be the next best portable one. The fact that it comes with its own uh, mount. So this mount, I think, I think, yeah, this way. So this, this is ready for the mount. So this mount goes in here and you push it in. Uh, yeah. Okay. Bring it out a little bit. Now that is ready. So now you can put your any Bowen's mount here. It will attach, which is good. And then I'll show you all the prices as well, so that you could have a, a sense of uh, you know what the prices cost. And um, I don't know if Cobalt has a bigger one. Uh, in terms of uh, more powerful light, if in case you want to go in that route and buy more of their products. So that will be helpful to know. So this is portable. Let's see the light. Let's take a look. Ooh. Ooh, that's bright. Powerful light. Powerful light. All right. So portable, USB powered. It's got some settings like... Uh, uh, of course, you could do remote control on it. Uh, it has an app to control it, which is the same same thing for the Xeon. Um, even though I had a bug experience for the Xeon, but it does have an app, and I think uh, that is fixable. And uh, we love it. Okay, so if you want to go with this one, know that you may have to be a transformer. <laughs> okay. You have to know how to transform and get larger sources of light. Godox, Godox, Godox. It says ML30, the Godox ML30. Let's see what you got. It's a lightweight dual power supply. Um, battery power supply can be used as mobile lighting anytime, anywhere. Okay, it has silent mode. And that's one thing. Um, they all they all have silent fans. They all have silent fans. Okay, dump is there. We have a manual. And uh, power. Long cable. In case you can notice that at first. And uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good accessory. I think this is to adapt, you know, different variety of mount if that's what you have. And let's see the power brick. Well, not so bad, but conventional. Um, yeah, it's good. It works. Uh, I think this is for if you want to use power bank. Some of those power bank with this um, or different mounting. But this already is ready to go to power up the device along with this cable. So that's good. Um, there's another cable here. Let's see what this is. Okay, more options. More power options. Whichever, whichever works for you, you, you are covered. Okay? You guys are covered this in and this here I think we're gonna test it anyway so here we go so let's put this on the side and 
there's the reflector. Ooh, a little bit large. It's almost like the regular size. Yeah, but this is this is good. We want bright light, right? So the bigger the better for spread. Um, put this on the side. Here is the light from Godox. They are all portable, man. Man. Wow. Good. All right. So, there you go. Looks clean. Looks really nice. Okay, so no USB option on this one. Okay, but it's portable enough. I said I said the uh, the Cobra was second in terms of portability. I'm beginning to doubt that. Oh man, these are all portable lights. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Check this out. Oh, they have a. Uh, now this is where they will they will catch up with the others now. They have an MPF battery power option, which is nice. It's got a, a way to, to hang it, you know, to strap it on. That's good, that's good. Round of applause for Godox right there. And it comes with its own uh, mount. What is this? We use this instead. Yeah. Let's, oh, scroll this way. Okay. okay, so yeah, but we still need the mount. Uh, for, okay, so let's um, power it and we have power now. And woo, also clean. no usb power um it doesn't come with the with the bones adapter so you have to get that they usually about 20 to 30 39 bucks i think uh, i think zoom was 39. if you already have goddess light you can't go wrong with this okay the next will be I footage now <laughs> I footage have been so impressive in fact I the light I've been using on the studio is always been uh, I footage this is the 60 It's the same one I'm gonna be unboxing here but I've been using it. it's been long overdue for a review I've been using it for six months or more you know and I've been loving it it's been amazing it's a good time to be a filmmaker this generation we got no excuse really everything is more affordable for us oh now i footage i already bought one for the one i'm using right now i bought one of these this does not come with it now this is another version that was sent in for review and it came, this is obviously a combo. So that's good, that's a plus for me, but I have to buy this first. Good thing this is the, about the cheapest of all. It's about 19 bucks or 20 bucks, I'll show you on the screen. And um, yeah, it is lovely, nice to have. The cable, what is this? Unmatched color spectrum and low blue light protection. Hmm. These guys are really, uh, really confident about their light quality. Now, in terms of quality, these guys are giving Aperture a run for their money. You know, this is something to, I can't remember what it is now, but it's an accessory that's added. Guess we'll figure it out. Um, I wonder what I used it for. I think just to aim the, yeah, help the mounting either in here maybe in here like a spigot yeah so let's see what's underneath um certification that's the light itself power cable which is probably the largest of all 
the bricks. Oh well, until we see that of aperture. Let's go. There's an aperture coming up. Um, so, uh, so far, this is the largest of all the bricks. Ooh, light reflector, which is fine. Okay, portable, but probably the largest so far. Mm. A little bit heavier than the rest of it, and we don't have the mount yet. So, that's also something to consider. But here's the good thing. It comes with this large brick. It comes with the large brick, but it has the USB option. So I can go ahead and power it with the USB from Cobalt. Let's see what that, if that works out. Power this guy with the one from Cobalt and turn on. Okay. So here it is, and it's at 10%. Um, this is 10% light. Man, it's lovely. Let's turn the light off. So we got the power brick option and the USB option, which you can use um, your laptop with a USB power cable and you can power up this guy. It's called the SL160DN, okay? LED 4.0, wow. Lovely, portable size, still the heaviest so far. The last but not the least, ladies and gentlemen, the Amaran from Aperture. 60X 60X S <laughs> Now this guy is by color So to, from 2700 to 6500 um, Color temperature This guy is ready for you That is good it, But it probably be the most expensive Once again I'll show you the prices And uh, Let's unbox it And see features and accessories now in my opinion this is probably the best bag even though it's larger but it's portable it's solid i think <laughs> um the other two comes with a bag but um the i footage and the godox both don't come with the bag oh yeah Oh man, now this is something to behold. Oh man, we have the same power options just like on my 60D or 60X. This came with that too. Oh man, lovely. Be my battery mount, and you can go with this option if you so desire. That's great. It's got the power. Oh man, power cable, you see, just like the iFootage one, looks similar quality. And it comes with this uh, swivel arm, which is good, slightly heavy. You can see, you can see quality here. Now this is the largest brick I thought about, <laughs> I guessed as much. Aperture usually has big bricks. Okay, but, you know, if it doesn't fail, then we, we can't complain. Um, keep this aside. And then let's grab this. Okay, portable. Um, a little bit bigger, um, wider maybe. So let's take this off. Oh, it comes with the mount. You see, this guy comes with the mount, okay? So the mount is already, um, This the mount is ready for Boeing. This is a Boeing mount already. Okay, nice, small chip. Wow, these chips are powerful. So we can mount uh, um, the, wow, this is nice. Whoa, this is nice. It looks like, uh... wow, take a look at this. This is portable, I'm in. Oh yeah, and then here's the mount. 
here you can power up with the other lights um to go mobile but there's hardly any time i would really want to use this because light is very powerful so and it has some mount here for rigs so let's connect the power to to our, over here okay so we have power on yeah a hundred percent it went off which means it needs both batteries to work well that's a bummer but nice to know of course we know that this guy has an app just in case you think i'm joking <laughs> take a look at this even with the entire oh man it's so light it's so oh man it's like the it's like half the light half it's like half the weight of the others no in fact it's like half of the weight oh man i just took this off now it's like no it's like <laughs> it feels like one tenth i might be exaggerating but it feels like one tenth of the weight let me power it with the same usb from cobalt okay and turn on the power whoa um we are at 24 percent here so let's turn it down you can't go wrong with any of this light and i would definitely go with any of this light if i was starting up okay i'll just close my eyes and choose actually i'll probably just just do that kind of uh, raffle draw and pick the one you know and go with it you can go with any of this one if you already have one of these lights like a bigger brother to this and you want a smaller uh companion just stick with that light godox even small rig um uh, eye footage aperture or amaron uh cobo i think i already mentioned godox and zoom okay so any of these lights will work will rock your uh, production set and um, you can't be you can't go wrong now you already know that i'm using the the eye footage but that's for studio in terms of professional work where i actually go out and make work and and produce and and get paid and do commercial jobs i'm sticking to aperture for the few for a few reasons one I already have a couple of them. I already have, I probably have two um, sets of lights, aperture lights that can light two different sets at the same time. That's how much I've in invested into aperture and um, there's no turning back for aperture now. It's going all the way. If you are starting out, uh, I would suggest eye footage or aperture. You can't go wrong. If you know you are going to be growing fast, then you want to stay with Aperture because you they have everything you need, you know, ready for your growth. I'm a little bit uh, selfish with lights. Two more lights that you don't that are larger lights or more powerful lights than this. I have one light from Fieldworld, and that's about a 200 watt light or 220 watt light. And then there's a Ambitful. Ambitful is another light I have. Trust me, I have I have tried a lot of their products. Those two lights will be um up for giveaway watch out for the giveaway and um, that's that'll be all for today guys thank you guys for watching like subscribe and uh i'll see you in the next video peace